how Christmassy is this? Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's one uh, is usually my favorite because even though it's a haul and you guys might say like come on Mara, you've seen like 1001 haul but today's one is very different. I was reading your comments, listening to your feedback and even though I know that you guys love watching luxury hauls, don't worry there's one coming but I read that a lot of you wanted to see how you can interpret all the latest trends and kind of good fashionable dressing high street so how can you look really really great really on trend but for less and I wanted to bring that to you so I kind of reminded myself on everything that I have seen um, in February at Fashion Week New York, London, Milan and Paris so I attended many shows in February and that's when autumn winter collections were presented and then took all of my kind of like everything that I studied and I went on the like most kind of famous retailers, I guess, for high street shopping, and I shopped a lot. I haven't tried anything on, so I'm gonna try everything on with you guys, but I'm gonna kind of tell you why I picked these pieces. Also, I wanted to mention that it is Black Friday week, which means that all of these items are now on a sale. In the description box below, you will have everything linked. I will also put um, relevant kind of information when it comes to discount codes. So sometimes I will take you exactly, like I will leave a link which will take you exactly to the page where it's on sale, um, where it's discounted. So if there's a code as well, I will leave a code. So if you want to shop, you can save some money. Also wanted to say that I've shopped on H&M, Topshop, River Island and other stories. So it really is high street brands. You know how sometimes people say like high street and then it's kind of like expensive clothing? Everything, everything, everything was purchased. There was no discount voucher, there was no voucher, there was no credit, there was no payment. There's no promo. This is like, I feel like I, I don't need to say this, right? But I don't know, sometimes people just say it. Is there my address on here? So everything's on here. I don't know if you can tell, but it says here, Items discount zero 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 zero. Item prices like everything was paid. I just co I'm just covering my address. So everything was paid, and I just really wanted to show you items that I genuinely like. Without any particular order, shall we start? There's an overwhelming amount, so let's do it. So I. So first I stopped by at Topshop and I was like, okay, I'm gonna limit myself to the amount of things I'm gonna get. But I uh, took two things there. They have 25% off um, at the moment, which started today. So I wanted to show you the first thing I grabbed and picked, I really like. They got this in size small and it's a jacket. Now I got a lot of jackets. So <laughs> I started getting used to it. I think tartan is one of the biggest trends. I don't know if it's like really showing well on the camera, but it's a light pink color, kind of woolly, short to coat, but not too short, like kind of mid-length, like covering your has burgundy and white stripes, pockets, something like this. This could be like super cool, white certain leg jeans, sneakers, or even with boots or a dress, anything that goes. I just find it like really nice because it's colorful, so it would go really well with my burgundy bags but also with like a white or a pink or a black because anything really goes, it's quite an easy jacket to wear. So I'm not gonna talk too much about each piece because you will see it in the cutouts and also because otherwise this video is gonna last three days. So during my wardrobe clear out time, I realized that I, first of all, don't have enough skirts. Skirts are what I have the least of, isn't that weird? Didn't buy any skirts, clearly I have a problem. And then tracksuit, I literally have to track suits. I do have a lot of hoodies or sweaters or like a decent amount but not the bottoms and also like I have few jogging pants but I never really go anywhere in jogging pants except to the gym. So I bought these like oversized pink ones. I really like this. This is just for the days when I'm feeling, feeling miserable. I want to stay at home work, make myself a big cup of coffee, catch up with work, do everything I need to do and this is what I'll be wearing. Kind of if you want to look chic, airport style, but not so chic. Maybe you can combine. I don't know. I think this would be really cool for traveling. Let's go on to the next item. So, Dad, when I am sama sa Is there a problem? That's okay. That's what normal people do. 
obviously it's party season coming up and I do tend to go out a few times here and there in December because, well, because it's the only time I really got. I'm such a grandma. I'm not really such a person that goes out at night. I love my daily going out. I like my lunches, my dinners, my brunches things like that, but not like clubby club stuff. However, you know, December is the time when we do do that. So this is what I got. It's a jumpsuit, like a play suit. It's very short, but I thought it would be comfortable when worn with tights. It is from River Island and they also have incredible um, offers, which I will leave more about in the description box. So we got a little play suit. Uh, it's velvety material. It has this brooch in the front, which can be removed. And imagine, for example, putting a Chanel brooch here. Gonna look completely different, like right away. I think um, this can be accessorized so easily, and yet it's inexpensive. Sometimes I do like to invest in a very expensive dress, as you guys know, like Alessandro Rich or Bautier or something like that. But also, sometimes I'm like, I just need something that's gonna serve a purpose and, you know don't really want to spend a fortune on. Also at River Island, I saw this, I think this was very like, um, oh, there's a hanger in it. It's a coat, it's a light grey coat that I thought also fits all the kind of latest trend checklist. It has a kind of like a double buttoning and actually like um, River Island coats, I used to have quite a few over the past years. Oh, there's a spare button. I had many, many and I tried many and their cut is always really nice really um, feminine, beautiful, and their coats last me for a long time. So I decided to try on this one as well. What a time to be alive. H&M, one of my actually favorite, if not my favorite high street brand. I know this might come as a surprise, but I actually love H&M trend collection. Actually, I love mango as well. Ooh, it's a tight, tough, tough, tough call. Again, you will see that I purchased for myself another pair of, what are these called? premium quality soft cashmere i think like tracksuit this is for me at home reading a book in this soft cashmere bottoms nice thermal top and a cup of tea reading a book at the moment i'm reading sarah knight get your shit together i still haven't read that so let's see this is what i want to read it in while eating giflar you probably don't know what that is unless you're from Nordic countries. Anyway, H&M has amazing deals for Black Friday and overall, even when they don't have amazing deals for Black Friday, on my blog, I have a huge shop section. So besides the fact that I put a blog post on Monday with all the good deals, one blog post with like shopping guide today and one coming live on Friday as well. You will also be able to find on the shop section, I'll insert the window here, um, kind of under 100 selection. And there I usually have a lot of H&M things because they're always such great value for money, at least in my opinion. Zara has very trendy pieces, but for me and from what I have experienced, it's just the quality does not follow. I have few pieces, they're usually classic pieces, and they have lasted me a while, but then whenever I buy a trendy piece, it's a disaster. Clearly I'm into these like short jackets with pockets. I thought this would be very nice for day-to-day -day basis. Jeans, again white sneakers, and this knit for example. Um, imagine it with my green Kelly bag, you know, it would immediately look like it's something very, very ridiculously expensive, like Joseph. Doesn't it look like Joseph? Or, you know, like it could be really anything. I think it's very simple, yet it looks very expensive, and it is, if I'm not, yeah, I thought so. It's their premium quality line, it's a wool blend. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. My favorite piece that I got from H&M, and I'm definitely not returning this, even though I haven't tried anything else on yet, but this I know I want to keep. How? Christmassy is this. I actually have so many slippers, but these make me so excited. I've got, I always get them in size bigger because at home for slippers I like them to be comfy. And I'm 39, 40, but I got these in 40, 41. They're so soft and cozy and warm and reindeery and so freaking cute. Honestly, obsessed. This is like the best purchase ever. So yeah, like link is below. You guys need to get this. Like you guys need to get this. What's Christmas without this? Next up, I have a jumpsuit. <laughs> This reminded me of the Michael Kors um, jumpsuit that I recently wore, and I think that was very, very flattering. It's like um, one shoulder evening trousery play suit, and I think this will look beautiful 
with a belt like a Dior belt or a Chanel belt or any of the belts that I um, have in my collection. I really love this. I think it's beautiful, very easy to wear. You can definitely style it every time, make it look different and kind of have something like a new piece out of it. And look how small it is it takes zero space if you're packing or going away and also like it's not too short or too revealing which is great also for the mountains if you're celebrating new year's eve at the mountains when i show you the next two knits you're not going to punish me for buying too many knits because i completely agree i've overdone it with knits this season and it's not even december yet i have a problem I say this every time but it's true however these are so beautiful and I know that many of you will love them and immediately go and buy them this is so soft oatmeal color with the tiny little pearls on the color but I think this detail is so beautiful for like a simple oatmeal knit with wider sleeves I love I'm like I've stretched it so much it does not look flattering at all but it's really flattering it's really beautiful oh, like from what I can see we'll have to try it on mine is in size small but you know, whatever, like, I'm, I'm not so fussy with sizes because even if it's oversized, it's fine. If it's like a little bit tighter, it's fine. So, love this. Love these little pearls. So much that I couldn't decide between that and the one in white. And the white one has pearls all over the sleeves. This is so pretty! And if you wear it with like, um, with a waistcoat, this will show or if you're somebody that doesn't really wear many coats but you live in like LA and you're so lucky to live in California and have Californian weather this will be what you will be showing all the time this is from H&M Conscious Collection actually both of these so you might be thinking that oh if I shop Conscious it's gonna be so ugly no it's not like look how pretty is this so there you go. I think this is really beautiful and shopping conscious doesn't mean that you have to compromise on anything. So I really, really love this knit. And the fact that it's from the conscious collection is one more reason for me to get it. So next up, I got this in extra small, which I normally am not, but I just thought it's anyway oversized and I would like it to be a bit less. But again, it's for like home lounging or plane lounging, traveling. Uh, when I'm on the plane and just want to be extra cozy, simple grey hoodie. Nothing like spectacular, but just perfect for this time of the year. Next, and the last maybe from H&M, maybe not, not, is this blazer. I really wanted this blazer because I think it reminded me a lot of my Magda Butrum blazer. Like a lot less structured and for a fraction of the price. But what I thought is that you could really style it well, which is what I'm going to show you now in the cutaway. like it, I think it's cool, I think the pattern is cool, and this was definitely one of the autumn winter trends on the runways in February at Fashion Week. So for me, that's a huge, 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 huge plus. Another one of the trends is a puffer jacket. I'm sure you all knew this. This is also from the Conscious Collection, and I got a huge white puffer jacket so big that if I put it here, you don't see anything else except from the jacket. I love this jacket. I think this is perfect, again, if you have a dog, if you go to the gym very early in the morning, if you are walking the dog early in the morning or at night. You might experience a lot of coldness and I think in this, it's like I have not left my bed. I'm still in my duvet, but it's cute and I like it. Let's see what it looks like on. So far, I really like it. And if you ever change your mind, you can use it as a pillow later on. Or on the plane. As a pillow on the plane. Ugh, this is taking way too much space. God help me. I think this is a dress or a top. It's beaded, it's beautiful, full of little tiny pearls, a white dress. I love this. I thought this would look so beautiful with over the knee boots and a big coat. Maybe even the wool jacket that I shown you at the beginning. So for that reason, I was like, you know what, I really have to have this. I think this is from the Trend collection and I think it's really beautiful. Beautiful detailing around the neck as well. But again, nothing is naked, nothing is exposed. Perfect for winter. We got to the end of H&M. But we're now to the sister brand and other stories. First thing I'm going to show you is a beanie. I love this color. You guys know how much I love this color. Do I look cool or do I look stupid? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I really like this and it matches my bedding. My sister got me like few of the same because obviously it looks like this is the only bedding I have. But I love it and it matches my room and it now matches my new beanie. So I love it. I love this. 
and other stories has amazing black friday deals and discounts which have also already started and this beanie i am keeping because i can see what it looks like and i love it and i love the color i think like if you're wearing everything else in boring colors but you keep this this is so cute and it's not just light purple but it has a bit of a shine through it like silver thread that i love and this is wool and alpaca it's very soft beautiful so also at and other stories i got this like organza immaterial top i thought this was very beautiful because um i have a lot of events dinners do i look stupid now my hair is straight but i had a treatment done to it today so that's why i love this i think it's like a beautiful off-white almost like a yellow color it looks very very of an amazing quality it has a cami underneath I got it in size 36 which is usually my size puffy shoulders which clearly are something that i like and i think this would be very beautiful with like jeans or skirts tucked in with a big coat big scarf so you can look very ladylike just because of the top which is always a huge plus i also got a coat and at end other stories but clearly i'm gonna have to send back some of the coats don't know which one, you guys can maybe help me with which one but I love this because I love the oatmeal color it's one of my favorites I love oatmeal because it's not grey, it's not beige, it's in between and honestly it's one of my favorite colors this I love because it has a belt, it has the buttons, it's beautiful love the color, love the color this is it, it goes well with this knit as well and with my new beanie, ta-da, done outfit a pink dress because this kind of dress actually reminded me a little bit of the rotate dresses i have a few in my wardrobe now and i just think they're so trendy but you know maybe someone doesn't want to give 200 300 pounds for one of their dresses so perhaps this could be an alternative puffy shoulders like square cleavage look da -da. and it also has a belt which i can't really show you right now but you will see it when i try it on I think the color is beautiful, I really love it, um, it's actually one of the colors of the season for autumn winter, this hot pink and this one as well, so I really really tried you guys, tried not to disappoint your wallets and your budgets and to kind of bring you the trends but high street version, let me know what you think about that, I actually do have also a luxury kind of haul of the same type coming in on Friday because um, there's so many sales and codes and discounts that I wanted you guys to utilize and to use and I think it's that time of the year when everybody just wants to shop for me from 1st December onwards vlogmas begins so I will not be like shopping and doing hauls I will be showing you my everyday life uh, and I'm not gonna be attempting to be like extra festive or extra this or extra that you will just see my real life super raw the rawest I've ever done, like never before. I'm mentally preparing and like saving up some courage for that because I think I'll need a lot of courage. Also, I'll link below my jewelry. I've got my Misoma beloved ring here, my Cartier rings as well, and I'll, I'll link below as well what I'm wearing. I wear them a lot, so you guys can check that out because that's all on the sale as well at the moment. I think like for me it's just very important I'm not going to be excessive obviously I'm not going to keep all of these things in December I'm not really going to be shopping much and in like overall I kind of made a list of really what I wanted to get so I was trying to stick like to some knits, few coats and some um, party dresses because that's what I really wanted in particular colors of the coats so I think I did relatively well I got another party top and it's kind of shaped as almost a little blazer and it has this belt which is like crystallized belt this looks very much like Alessandra Rich or a Bautier type of top it has like a fish bind what my mom calls or like a wire in here to keep the shoulders really puffy but you will see that better I got this little old grandma like I am Cardi but I literally love this so much and I don't have anything like this I think I'm gonna film my next video in this knit because I really don't have anything like this and also it reminds me of these like hoodies my mom used to um, bring from my sister and myself 
I think it's from her time when she lived in China and they were so beautiful like these like cashmere wool alpaca blend knits with prints like this and then my sister inherited them and then by the time it was my turn they were ruined so I bought one for myself to compensate for my childhood. I got a simplest black turtleneck that you can imagine because a girl has to have one. This is for my travels. It's a turtleneck. For when I have to get up at 4am, I hate everybody and my life and I just want everybody to bugger off and not speak to me and I wear black and I'm like, you know what, I really know. It's a basic thing that everybody needs to have in their wardrobe, I think. I always look for the simplest black, like knit turtleneck and I can actually never find it. You can either find the cottony ones or really thick, 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 chunky ones that I literally cannot even breathe in. And this is a perfect classic. I also, actually this is the last item. For the last item I have, and other stories, well of course, um, also Cardi. I don't have many Cardis. I have a lot of blazers but I don't have many Cardis and I cannot wait to wear this in front of my nephew. He's gonna be so jelly. This is super cute and super fashionable because it's a simple grey cardigan but then as buttons it has little dinosaurs and I think that is so cool because it makes it look so original, so artsy and by that it makes it look much more expensive and cool and I think this can be worn over another like a thin turtleneck like a thin grey turtleneck or a shirt or another like t-shirt or whatever you want and then other under a jacket I think that could be really really cool and there are just so many ways so many different ways that this can be worn which is why I particularly really love it and with that I conclude my high street haul I'm very curious to hear what was your favorite item. I will try and link below some of the other High Street um, discounts, like basically Black Friday sales from High Street brands. Maybe I'll search Mango, ASOS, etc. So I will link everything below with the codes for you guys to check them out. And in the meanwhile, please do not forget to check out my blog because I have many, many shopping guides. Um, trend reports and things like that that I think could be useful for all of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye guys!